Hey artists, let's put our colors to work today by making our very own color wheel. You can either choose to make a color wheel turtle or a color wheel snail. At the end of this video, you'll get to see how an artist uses a color wheel and how it will help you with your art. Let's get started. You'll need to trace a circle. It could be a roll of tape, it could be a bowl, a lid, whatever works. Then inside of that circle, we will draw one two, three lines. This will give our color wheel six parts. It's okay if they're not completely equal. Then decide if you want to turn your color wheel into a turtle or a snail. Draw all the parts, giving them a little rough shell, a head, four feet. This is called a bird's eye view. If we were a bird flying up above, this is how we would see the turtle. If we were looking at the side, uh, we would see our turtle a little different. Next, outline all your pencil lines in black. Could be a black marker, a black crayon, whatever you have works fine. Here's another way you could do your animal. Here's a picture of a snail. Let's put our coloring supplies in order of the rainbow. Think about Roy G. Biv's name. Which color comes first? First, we'll need the red marker. The R in Roy G. Biv stands for red. After red, all comes orange. Then yellow, red, orange, yellow for Roy. G is his middle name. Blue and Purple. Another name for purple is violet. And my Sharpie. Just hold them so they don't roll away. Pick one of the pie slices to color in red. Remember, red is a primary color. And if we were to mix it with another color, another primary, we could get a new color. If we mix red with yellow, we will get to the next color in our color wheel. Red plus yellow would make orange. We'll color in our pie slice orange. If you go slow around the edges, you can go a little faster in the middle, but make sure you get all those white spots. After the color orange, yellow is up goes red, orange, yellow, and these are the warm colors. Red, orange, yellow, green is next, so Roy, G, and then B for blue. I is for indigo. Indigo is kind of a crazy color. It's a mix of blue and purple, so it's a bluish purple. It doesn't actually show up on the color wheel, but it does in a rainbow. And then our last color on the color wheel is purple or violet. I like to use crayon for this part. So if you take two or maybe even three shades of the same color, like a dark green, a medium green, and a light green, and you do the darker color first, then take the lighter color over the rest of the white spaces, whoa, artists, your artwork will look so professional. Give it a try. Sometimes it even works with like a blue or a green or a blue or a purple or a red or an orange, but not so sure if that makes a lot of sense for our turtle, unless you have a really crazy looking turtle, which is okay too. See what I mean? Isn't that gorgeous? Give it a try. We could leave our little guy just like this, but wouldn't it be more exciting if there was a background to it? I like to start in pencil before I do black outlines. That way, if I make an oopsie, I can fix it before it's permanent. Then fill in your color. I challenge you to blend your colors on this one too, just like you did on the turtle or the snail. If you're doing water, maybe add a few blues. Maybe you do three or four. There's some beautiful blues in that crayon box. Then I chose to do some sand. Now you don't have to do this. You could have your color wheel turtle or color wheel snail on a different planet or inside of a fish tank, um, wherever you want to put your little creation. 
Then I went back in and darkened some areas like the sand is wet. I even gave my turtle some little footprints of where he's been. Our color wheel is a really handy tool for an artist. It doesn't just show the order of the rainbow, but it shows how colors can mix. We know that red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. And the red, yellow, and blue can do some pretty cool things. We can mix two of them together to make new colors, and the color wheel shows us how that works. If we had red paint and yellow paint, and our fingers went for a little walk, they would come to the orange because red plus yellow makes the color orange. Same thing with yellow. Yellow's a primary color, and blue is a primary color too. If our fingers do a little walk, they make it to green, and yellow plus blue equals green. And then same thing with our last two. We have red plus blue when we were to mix them together, and our fingers were to go on a walk on our color wheel, we would get to purple or violet. The one way it doesn't work, we cannot make a primary color. So if you don't have red, yellow, or blue, you can't make them. Yes, we could go outside and pick a dandelion and rub that dandelion on the back of my our hands. If you've never done that, you should try it. Your hand smells really good then, too. And you've got yellow pigment on you. But the problem is we're not usually going outside to get our paint ingredients. So it doesn't work if you take orange and purple. You won't get red. Primary colors are special. You cannot make them, but they can sure make a lot of beautiful colors. I can't wait to see your color wheels.